As a fan of retro computing and especially in the Commodore scene, I'm really enjoying the C64 Mini. The problem is the Mini comes with several limitations and I'm not gonna cover all that today, but today what I want to do is bypass or get rid of some of those limitations with a firmware upgrade. Today we're going to upgrade the firmware on the C64 Mini to version 1.4.2 and see what we actually get as far as enhancements. First thing we need to do is connect this puppy up to some cables. Let's plug into the HDMI port. I'm plugging into a video capture device. Next thing we need to do is plug in the included USB joystick. A lot of hate about this joystick. I kind of like this joystick. I don't know where all the hate's coming from. And finally, we will plug in the micro USB cable to apply some power. As soon as we plug it in, the power light will light up and power is applied. Now the reason I like that joystick is because those keys do not work and there's some special keys on the joystick that will allow us to perform some functions. And here we are at the main user interface for the Mini. And we'll grab our joystick because we'll need to move around because again, those cursor keys don't work. We're gonna go to settings. Hit our joystick button. We're gonna go down to system information. And what we're gonna do is just find out what version of the firmware we have installed. And you see that we currently have version 1.3.2. That won't do. We need to get that upgraded. There is a newer version, 1.4.2. So we bounce on over to the retrogames.biz website, link right there in the video. And we scroll down and we see the changes that are included in 1.4.2. Problem is, most of those apply to the C64 and the VIC-20, the big sizes with the keyboard that works. We're just going to download a version that will give us a couple of enhancements to our C64 Mini. So we will download the firmware. We'll place this uh, on our downloads folder for now. It's a quick download, very small file. Now we're gonna go ahead and show in folder so we can see that. You see it's only about 13 megs. We copied that and what we're going to do is paste that onto our USB drive. That's a fat formatted USB drive. You see I have a previous version of the firmware, 1.3.2 I think that was. Uh, and we're going to include a new copy. So we've copied that version over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep that old firmware, but I'm gonna rename it with the words old after it, just so when we reboot the C64 Mini, it doesn't get confused. Not sure that it would, but this is just a good way to make sure that it doesn't. Okay, we'll eject the USB drive. We'll go back over to the C64 Mini. We're going to exit, close down, shut down, restart, whatever we need to do to get this thing to start over. Let's go down here to system information or shut down. There we go. Shut down device and let's shut down and wa wait for it to reboot. Now, when it reboots, it's automatically going to look at that USB drive for a firmware upgrade file. In this case, 1.4.2. And after we've shut it down, we're going to press the button to restart it. Hold it in for about three seconds until the light comes on. And there's the Retro Games load screen. I love the sound, sounds great. Sounds better than the original did, that's for sure. All right, so we've grabbed our joystick, we go back over. Now don't go to the USB drive, go to system information or system preferences again. And you'll notice immediately when we go to system information, we have, hey, there's a file for you to use to upgrade. Let's apply that and wait for the upgrade. While we're waiting for the upgrade, can I, can I, can I ask you to subscribe? Can I ask you to hit alerts? Can I ask you to smash a thumbs up button? Do all that business down below while you're here. If you like this and got something out of it and you want to see more in the future, would love for you to subscribe and get those alerts and there'll be more fast loads from stephencombs.com and Retro Combs. Okay, now we're back to the user interface and let's check and make sure we have a good upgrade. So we'll go back down to system information Going to go down there again to system information there, and you see we now have the C64 1.4.2 shield. What does that mean, shield? I don't know. The only problem is the only thing we're getting with the Mini is two new games, Barnsley Badger and Soulless. All those other great uh, additions and features up top, but we don't get those. I was actually hoping we might get a VIC-20 clone with an update, but we are not getting those on the Mini, unfortunately. So here's the first new games we get. Barnsley Badger. It's a little badger. He's running around... 
in some kind of weird, I don't know why badgers are in weird haunted forests uh, next to cemeteries with bats flying and snails. I will say this of this game though, is very impressive. Music is great, graphics are great. It's a good looking platformer. I'm not a big platformer, not something I will play a lot of, but hey, if you are interested in moving badgers around, Barnsley Badger is your game, say that three times fast. The other game that is included is something called Soulless. This just sounds ominous, doesn't it? This is by, I missed it, Cytronics, I think it was, where Barnsley Badger was a platformer. This game is also a platformer. Welcome to Soulless. And you can see it's not a badger. It's some kind of other thing that likes to jump around and hit things and go up platforms. And it's a platformer. There we go. It's like... Uh, Donkey Kong meets some kind of alien thing and dies a lot, especially when I play it. So that's the other game that comes with the C64 Mini. Let's see if I can get up to that upper level up there. We're gonna jump up here, we're gonna jump up here. We're gonna go over here and jump, and we're gonna jump one more time here. And let's see if we can go over that nasty spider thing and go over, can we go over here? Where do we go? Oh, there's another screen right there and there's another nasty spider and I'm gone. So there you go, there is what's included with an upgrade of the C64 Mini with firmware update 1.4.2. I hope you got something out of this, hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is a retro combs fast load, which means we do things fast around here, we get in, we get out, so that you can get back to your retro computing. Retro combs, out. <laughs>